welcome back to the class today we are going to study about again bloodless revolution that happened in agriculture now what is this bloodless revolution so we can say in 1951 the third annual sarvodaya sarvodaya conference conference was held at shiv gram palli a village a village near hyderabad hyderabad during this time when during this conference vinoda bhave vinoba bhave decided to walk to walk 300 miles okay before this we heard about mahatma gandhi who walked 240 miles now vinoda bhava vinoda vinoba bhave is going to walk 300 miles to hyderabad he reached nalgonda district where he met the villagers villagers at pochampalli during his interaction inter action with the villagers villagers a demand for land was put forward they wanted wanted 80 acres of land 40 acres in the form of wetland and 40 acres acres in the form of dry land for their eco nomic well being vinoba vinoba bhave promised to talk to the government government about 
provisional about provision of land but he put a condition that they would undertake co operative farming taking initiatives any initiatives mr ram chandra reddy offered 80 acres of land to 80 landless villagers this act was known as bhudan bhu da bhu means land zameen daan means to give so it's not bhu daan later on many people began to distribute entire village villages among the landless landless peasants this was a village gift known as known as gram dan gram dan gram means gram means gaon in this way it is called blood bloodless revolution because no blood was been shed agriculture agri culture has been and still is the backbone back bone of indian economy every effort was hence made to modernize to modernize and improve this sector and this sector is known as the primary sector also agri cultural university univer cities veter 
Neri Services and Animal Breeding Centers Horticulture Development Research and Development in areas of weather forecast weather forecast establish meant of I C A R Indian Council of Agri Cultural Research. Agricultural research were set up to modernize agriculture. a very good system has been set up when people do agriculture and when you talk about northern plains Uttar Pradesh, Bihar where we have frequent floods so we always face a food security we need a food security we need something to store this food so a careful a carefully designed food security security system has been adopted by the Indian government it has two main component components first we have PDS known as Public Distribution System This system provides this system provides food grains and other essential items at subsidized 
subsidized prices and both rural and urban areas and the second is the buffer stock buffer stock is to means when government when agriculture farmers grow crops the government purchases the product from the mandis and keep it in view that whenever there will be any calamities that stock that food crops are going to be removed and then supplied to the public to lessen or nullify the food shortage shortage problem so we have used this pds system public distribution system so according to the world bank okay now we, we are going to talk about world why world is been introduced so who are rich we can call it when you talk about consumers each and every person is a consumer who needs something he purchases things from the market so according to the world bank the world bank's definition of poverty line right you got the poverty line there are two types the bpl and the apl the poverty line for countries like india is us dollar 1 per day per person or you can call it us dollar 365 per year means one day per person one day means in a year we have 365 days so 365 dollar per person per year as per the government government of india poverty line for the urban urban areas is rupees 296 per month and for rural area it is 276 per month so you can say that a person earning rupees 10 per day is not is poor but if he earns more than that means 15 20 rupees then he is gone above the apl bpl and apl so bpl stands for below 
poverty line and above poverty line okay so you already studied about this pds system in your 9th standard and you always every month even you must be going to this ration shop pds system so you can understand how it works